Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is number 69 in my Sudoku problem series. This is a Parity Dots Killer um, uh, problem that I created because I really wanted to get uh, Parity Dots into this. Um, Parity Dots is a constraint I fell in love with. Um, they were created by Math, and yeah, I really enjoy them. I've set a lot of pro puzzles with this, and you don't see them very often. You really don't. So I wanted to get them out there. Um, so I can't believe we've done 69 of these already. It feels like I only just started this series. So anyway, um, the way parody, di uh, parody dots work, or let's do killer cages first. Killer cages, which we've done many times, uh, digits in cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. Digits cannot repeat within cages. Parody diamonds, um, there's two types of parody, di or parody dots, and I've only I've explained both, even though only one of them is used in this particular problem. Um, a cell separated by a black diamond must have the same odd even parity, and cells separated by a white diamond must have a different odd even parity. There are no white diamonds in this. Um, and of course, the goal here is to get the digits um, that are marked with X's. There is a link below to where you can try this problem for yourself. I'm going to wait for a few seconds so you can pause the video and then um, I will be back to explain how this one works. Okay, I really like parity dots with killer interaction. So let's... Um, jump straight in. So the first thing is a seven cage. There's only one way to make up a seven cage in three cells, which is one, two, four. But we know that these must have the same parity, but we've got an odd and two even digits. So these must be the even digits. This must be the one. Now, this is a 14 cage. Um, now, a 14 cage is an even total. And whether these are odd or even, if you have two odds, the total will be even. And if they're two evens, the e total will be even. So the sum of these two cells, whether they're odd or even, is going to be even. So for to get um, from an even two cells to an even cage, this number must be even, but it can't be two or four. So this is going to be six or eight. But we can do the same trick down here. Now, the total of this cage isn't given, but we can figure it out. All of the cells from one to nine in the box of the Sudoku will sum to 45. Now, we've got a seven and a 14, which sums to 21. So this cage is going to have to be 45 minus 21, which is a 24 cage. There is only one way to make up 24, which is seven, eight, nine. But again, these have to be the same parity. So those are not an eight, this becomes an eight, which means this is the six, and that is the solution to this particular problem. I really like the way parity dots can interact with other constraints, particularly killer. I've done a lot of parity dot killer puzzles, um, but I really wanted to introduce this one um, to a problem series, and this seemed to be the gentlest introduction I could come up with. I hope you enjoy this particular problem in particular. I, I really like this one. Hope you're enjoying the series. I still can't believe we're at 69. Um, and yeah, thanks everyone for watching, and as always, good luck with your solving.